Hey guys, I'm Rebecca. Welcome to Evolve Basics. This workout is for anyone, anywhere. All you need is a nine foot space and your body. If you've been inactive for a while or if you've never done a workout before, Basics is here to help you build a foundation for fitness. No point standing around any longer. Let's get warmed up. Take your feet a little bit wider, get nice and low, and we're just gonna march it out in place right here. Lifting the heels up, just shifting your weight side to side. Hold it right here. Now in this set, we're going to be doing six isometric or static exercises followed by a cardio blowout. And then we're gonna do six dynamic exercises followed by a different cardio blowout. Let's bring the feet a little bit narrower and we're gonna go ahead and take our hands up and also our knees. So just a nice march. Not too worried about the height of the knee. Just wanna get the foot lifted off the floor. So if you're wondering what isometric means, it just means holding a position, staying static, letting the body figure out what muscles to engage and start to build some muscle memory. Let's take our chest up nice and tall and we're switching it up, dropping that heel back behind us with a nice straight leg. Just waking up the back side of the leg right here. Now Evolve was designed to let you modify your workout as you go. There are three modification levels to choose from. Mod one is the most accessible and mod three is the most challenging. Let's take our hands up overhead, take our feet a little bit wider, and I just want you to twist and connect and twist and connect. So we're just gonna open and lift, open and lift. Mod one, Allison is demonstrating today. Mod one is accessible to any able body, and I mean anyone. I want you to take your hands on your hips right here, guys, and I want you to shift your weight right and left. Just a little zen swing, and if you feel okay with it, start to open arms and let the arms take your body with it. Mod two is being demonstrated by Kamar right here. Once you've built a bit of foundational strength, you can progress to this mod. And mod three is being demonstrated by Rob. When you're ready, try the most challenging mod in this workout. You ready for this? Okay. Take our hands up overhead one more time. I want you to place your hands on top of your knees. I want you to arch and look up and then curl the spine. Arch and look up and curl the spine. Just start to manipulate it. A little extension, a little flexion. And remember that whether you're doing mod one or mod three, you're doing your body good. Any movement is better than no movement. Consider Evolve Basics as your push start to fitness. Finish the warm up, arms all the way up, exhale down, and let's get started with this set. It's our isometric round, starting off with our isometric lunge. So you're gonna take your right leg forward, and after you step forward, I want you to drop down. You're gonna take your hands into nice fists, goal post arms, pressing up and pulling down. Pressing up and pulling down. Staying on this right side for half the time, and then we'll switch to our left. Time starts in three, two, one, let's begin. So you're gonna see Allison as she steps forward, she's gonna split her weight between her front and her back leg, and her hands are on her hips. All we're worried about is what's happening right below our hips. The lower you go, the more difficult the lunge. So Allison here in mod one is only at 30 degrees. Now there's a huge difference between our mods. As you can see with Robin in mod three, she's going down to a full 90 degree lunge and she's doing that full shoulder press. Let's go ahead and switch sides. In mod two, you're gonna see Kamar right here. His left leg's gonna come forward. He's in this nice half lunge for me, but he's still giving me nice tight fists and his press is gonna come forward. So he's waking up his chest as well. The core is nice and tight. So just holding this 70 degree lunge, keeping the upper body lifted and really pressing out and pull it on back. Beautiful. Hold tight right there. You have three, two, one. Go ahead and shake the legs out. We're moving right along into our isometric squat. So take your feet out a little bit wider than hip distance apart. I want you to take your arms out into a T position with your thumbs up. Sit back into your heels, lift your chest up nice and tall, and sit back. Mod three, we're looking for a 90 degree squat. Then go ahead and start bringing your palms together, thumbs up to the ceiling. Palms together, thumbs up to the ceiling. Time starts in three, two, one, begin. Now in a fall, we focus on primal movements. Movements that will help us function better in daily life. Squatting is a perfect example of a primal movement. Taking your weight down and into your legs is gonna be quite challenging and you're gonna to start to feel a burn in your quads and it's completely normal. Look at this, her hips are right in line with her knees and her knees are right over her ankles. She's sitting so much into her heels that her big toe's gonna to lift off the floor. Three, 
two, one, and relax. Let's move right along into our isometric single leg deadlift. You're gonna take your right leg back behind you, reach your hands up overhead, really get planted in that foot, and as you open up, your chest goes forward as your back leg lifts. Once you get here, I just need you to hold. Right side first, time starts in three, two, one, let's begin. Now at any time during your workout, you can get a tutorial from Jana. The deadlift is a complicated movement, which is why we offer the tutorial. She'll break down the movement according to the modification that you've chosen. And once you have it, come back and continue the workout. And you're gonna see in mod two right here, Kamara's taking his arms out to the sides so that he's almost giving me airplane arms. His core is nice and tight. I'm gonna have you look down at the floor. He's still gonna have his head looking about six inches away from him, down at the floor and out. Let's switch legs. You can take your chest up and then again, as your leg goes back behind you, the chest comes forward. So the body stays nice and one straight line from heel to the head, right? Fingertips nice and long. You have 15 more seconds. Hold it tight. You'd be amazed at how much work the muscles in the foot are doing to keep you balanced. So make sure it's nice and planted and we're holding tight. You have three, two, one, and relax. Let's come down onto the floor for our forearm plank. You're gonna give me stacked arms. So it looks like this, and stepping one foot back behind you at a time, shoulders over the elbows. Hold tight right here. Time starts in three, two, one, let's begin. Plank is a wonderful movement. It's gonna fire up your entire body. Although, it is very challenging. So a good way to get into it is to drop down onto all fours and then come down to your forearm. By putting some load on the forearms, we're starting to transfer the weight forward. You're gonna come back and you're gonna see Kamar in two. He's starting to extend this plank out more into his upper body and really asking quite a bit more from the core right there. You guys have three, two, one. Go ahead and relax. Staying down on the floor for our isometric super mill. So, staying down on your belly, you're gonna reach your hands out in front of you with your thumbs up to the ceiling. Look down at the floor, and on an exhale, you're gonna lift up and hold. Once you get here, I just want you to try to maintain this lift. In three, two, one, let's begin. Okay, so here's a great question to ask yourself. Are you in the right mod? Now, I want you to realize that there's a difference between pain versus progression. Now, I don't want you to be in pain, but I do want you to work outside of your comfort zone a little bit. It's normal to feel a burn, but you shouldn't actually feel any sharp pain. So feel free to mod up or down depending on where you fit in and own whatever it is that you're doing. This is not permission to slack off right here. You guys have four, you have three, you have two, one, and go ahead and relax. Beautiful. Coming into our isometric side plank, so staying down on the floor, we're gonna go from those stacked arms and we're gonna open up to our right hand side. That right hand is gonna be extended all the way at the top and we're lifted from the side body. Time starts in three, two, one, begin. You're gonna stay here lifted for half the time and then we'll go ahead and switch. So this is beautiful right here. Robin, I love your form. Feet are stacked, are you ticklish? No, it's Okay, I won't tickle you right here, good. <laughs> Switching sides for me, take your hand underneath, go ahead and switch sides but it's the underneath side of her body that's lifting and keeping her staying high. Nice. Pressing all the way up. Good, nice work. That's excellent. Three, two, one, and relax. Our first blowout is here. Why don't you guys stand up with me? We're gonna go right into the high knee march and heel to bum kicks. You're gonna keep your hands on your hips. So it looks like this. High knee march and heel to bum kick. You have a minute on the clock and our time starts right now. Here we go, high knee march. Get those knees up. Try not to take your chest forward. Stay lifted in your chest and just let the knees come up. Robin's adding a little hop right here. It's beautiful. Starting to get that heart rate up. What is it and why are we doing it? That knee is coming up almost to hip height, maybe a little higher if you can. And you're working just to get the heart rate up. So we're actually gonna start to break a sweat a little bit. Hopefully that's what we're looking for, right? To increase our cardio endurance. I like you to hit a mark. That's great right there. Hands on the hips and heels up to the bum. Here we go, switch it up. So it can be a little kick pointing the knee down to the floor. And hey, if you wanna try to jump it out and you wanna flip back and forth, that's A-OK -okay by me as long as you don't quit. You got this? Couple more kicks. 
We have four. We have three. Robin, you with me? Two. Okay. Last one. Shake it out, guys. Nice work. You deserve a 45 second break. Uh, hey, because of the level of difficulty of each exercise can be modified easily by adjusting the range of motion, no one should be able to say that basics is too hard for them. You have a little bit more time. If you guys need a sip of water, yeah. now is the time to go get it. So, if water is something that you don't normally drink throughout the day, I need you to start doing it for me. If you're thirsty, that means you're already dehydrated. And especially if you're gonna be working out, you're gonna be sweating a little bit, you need to be able to put that back into your body because we're made up of 65% water. So if you're seeing any sweat happening, if it's a hot day outside, if you're working out, it's even more essential to get it back into your body. Okay, now let's get into our dynamic round. Starting with our forward lunge. Let's take our arms up overhead. Right leg's gonna come forward and we're gonna step right back together. Right side first, half the time. Your time starts in three, two, one, begin. Now lunging is another primal movement. As you go, I like to think out and then down. Those are two words that I like to think every single time, no matter how many times I do a lunge, I still say it in my head. Out first and then straight down. So that you're gonna see in every single mod, no matter how far down you're going in your mod, in mod two right here, he's stepping out and he's going down to a nice 70 degree lunge, right? Yep. This is perfect. Switching sides, guys. If you kept going forward as you went out, it would look like this. And that right there is no good, my friends. You are not a knight and you are not getting knighted today. Maybe one day. But until then, protect your knee. That's why I like to go straight down. The knee over the ankle, and Robin's showing it great in mod three as she goes down to 90 degrees. <sighs> knee injuries are the worst. I don't want you to have one. Injury prevention is key. Three, two, one, relax. Excellent work. Okay, our dynamic squat. Again, our arms are gonna come up overhead. We're gonna go down for two. We're gonna hold for one. We're gonna lift for two and squeeze for one. So we go down. Two, hold, lift, two, hold. Time starts in three, two, one, and begin. Going slower on the down is actually asking your legs to get a little bit more time under tension. So you're asking them to work a little bit harder by going slower to get down there. And then you're giving them a pause. Down, two, hold, lift, two, squeeze. And by squeeze, I mean squeeze. Every time you stand up, Squeeze your butt. I promise you will be thanking me later. A squat burns the most calories out of any movement. You have three, two, one, and relax. Single leg deadlift, take your arms up overhead, reach out right leg back behind you. We're gonna go down for two, hold for one, lift for two, hold for one. It looks like this. Down, two, hold, lift, two, hold. Down, two, hold, lift, two, hold. Time starts in three, Two, one, begin. The thing I love about Evolve is that you can do it anywhere on your time. Do it at the gym, in your basement, or in the park. Here's another primal movement. It's the bend. She's bending from her waist, coming forward to a nice flat line, and then pulling straight up. Think about your body as an ironing board, right? No matter how far you're gonna open it, switch legs, your head stays connected to your foot. Pretend they're in one straight line, right? From her heel to her head. She's gonna take her whole body forward to that 30 degrees and then straight back up. That's beautiful. Nice, Allison, thanks. You guys have about 15 more seconds. So in order to lift the chest up, you have to maintain a nice strong core. And I know it's in there. It's a pro ball player right here. <laughs> it's nice and controlled. Sometimes it's even harder to go slow. Three, two, one, and relax. Let's come down for a basic push-up. So I want you to take your hands directly underneath your shoulders, step your feet back so that you're at the top of your plank. We're gonna lower down. One, two, hold, lift, and hold. Your time starts in three, two, one, and begin. Mod three right here. She's in full plank and she's taking her entire body weight down, using her chest, her upper body, and her core is stabilizing her entire body to help push up. Robin's doing a great job right here. You feeling okay? Yeah. Oh, I see a little sweat already. Nice, Robin. 
great way to learn a push-up is to do it from all four points. That way you're gonna give the upper body some tension and then use the floor to push away. Three, two, one, and relax. Prone YW, stay down on your belly. So this is gonna be just like your Superman, except as you're lifted, your arms are out in a Y, pull it back to a W. Arms out to a Y, pull it back to a W. Time starts in three, two, one, begin. So this is another primal movement. This is your pull. And all the mods, the back side of the body is going to lift you. And then as you're pulling the arms in, it's the lats that are gonna pull the elbows in, the shoulder blades connect together, and she almost gets a little higher in her lift every single time. That's beautiful, Robin. Perfect, Kamar. What I wanna see him do back here for me is to straighten his legs out one last time for the lift in three, two, one. Go ahead and relax. It's a little high five for you. <laughs> Stand it up for our Saxon side bend. Taking your feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart, get nice and connected to the ground so I don't want you moving anywhere below the waist. It's happening from the waist up. You're lifting over to the side, back up through center, over to the left, back up through center. Nice and slow for two on either direction. You all ready, team? Okay, three, two, one, here we go. Over to the right, one, two, and one, two. And over to the right, there's no pause, over to the left. I love to visualize one of those high jumpers going up and over. Think about going up and over. It's just a little lift, and then you'll be able to get over to the right or the left much easier to start to think about separating upper body from lower body. Three, two, one, relax. Okay guys, here's our second blowout. It's gonna be jumping jacks and scissor kicks. Jumping jacks and scissor kicks. You ready to have some fun? I love yeah. these ones. Here we go in three, two, one. Let's get started. Now jumping jacks are one of my favorite cardio movements. They're pretty much like the push-up of cardio movements for me because you can essentially do them anywhere, anytime, and no matter how you're feeling in your shoulders, you can stop your arms at any level. You can even do jumping jacks without arms. Let's go into scissor kicks in three, two, one. Forward and back, just letting those heels kick the floor. Just a little kiss down, hit, hit. We're gonna go back to jumping jacks in three, two, and one. Here we go. Five more seconds. You can use those arms if you wanna get the heart rate up just a little bit more. Three, two, one, scissor kicks right here. You see Robin adding those arms in. So we're really loosening up those shoulders. And again, the more the arms are moving, the higher the heart rate's gonna go. So go at your own pace. We're almost there. Finishing with jumping jack, guys. Let's go. We have five, four, come on guys, three, you're almost there, there two, guys. last one, excellent, excellent work. Team, please go grab a sip of water, you deserve it. Now, you're gonna have 45 second break, so use it wisely. Evolve is not meant to replace going to the gym, working with a trainer, or taking classes, but to complement it. Okay everyone, we're going to do the entire set one more time. Remember, six isometric exercises, followed by a cardio blowout, and then six dynamic exercises, followed by a different cardio blowout. Push yourself if you can, pull back a little if you need to. You're still moving and that's all that matters. Moving on to our second set, isometric round again. Starting with our isometric lunge, we're gonna take our right leg forward, give me those goal post arms. Y'all ready, three, two, one, here we go. This is the push press. What you're probably noticing by now is that holding this lunge for 30 seconds is hard in itself. So the lower you go, the more challenging it becomes. So if this is your first time doing it, if you haven't been active yet, I really wanna hold you at this nice 30 degree lunge. Once you get ready to move along, then start to take your lunge a little deeper. Go ahead and switch sides. 30 more seconds hitting that left hand side. For me, not gonna be good enough just to show me fists. I actually want her to tighten up the fist and really push something. Get something off over your head, nice. And then go ahead and tap those elbows. You see these 90 degree arms? That's perfect. So she's pulling something down and pushing something up. You have about seven more seconds. Okay guys, three, two, one, and relax. Moving into our isometric squat. Take your feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart. 
You're gonna take those arms out to the side, sit lower, palms together, and then thumbs up. Palms together, thumbs up. You all ready? Ready. Three, two, one. I got you, Robin, let's begin. I know your legs are burning right now. You can see it in the mods right here, the different degree of the squat. Again, squats burn more calories than any movement out there. They're going to be one of the foundational movements that are gonna take you everywhere you can go in fitness. You're gonna find them in every single program. You gotta get really good at them right now. Knees over the ankles and keep the core nice and tight. That's it right there, guys. In three, two, one, shake it out. Isometric single leg deadlift. Take the right leg back behind you. Arms up overhead. You're gonna come all the way out in front. Reach the fingertips forward. Heel back behind you and just hold tight for me. You have 30 seconds on the right. Three, two, one, let's begin. So I want you to imagine yourself surrounded by walls on all sides. There's a wall back behind you and your foot's pressing up against the wall. Then there's a wall out in front of you and your head looking down at the floor, that's beautiful right there, is going to have the wall right at the top of it. His fingertips are touching the other two walls, keeping himself nice and long, getting as long front to back and as wide left to right as you can. Let's switch sides. Giving yourself a box and an area to push and grow is actually gonna help you stay nice and solid, right? So this standing leg right here, it's her big toe pressing into the floor, fire up the ankle, and really depend on this standing leg. So she's gonna pull up, keep the belly nice and tight. And again, just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. Flex this foot, fire up the core, straighten out the leg as much as you can. There it is. Three, two, one, and relax. Nice work, guys. Come down to a forearm plank for me. So we're gonna have our arms stacked, shoulders over the elbows. Keep the feet hip distance apart. Press away from the floor. This time starts in three, two, one, begin. Something I see all the time is that when we come down to the floor, almost like quicksand starts sinking into the floor. So a lot of times I see this. Now that's actually gonna make it so much more difficult, not only to breathe, but you collapse in your core. Think of your core as a nice corset holding you around. It just wraps around and lifts you up. So push away from the floor as though you're trying to stay far away from it. Three, two, one, and relax. Awesome, guys. Staying down on your belly for an isometric Superman. So when you reach your hands forward, thumbs up to the ceiling. Your focus is to the floor. Exhale, lift, and just hold. Your time starts in three, two, one, begin. Now, I'm a perfectionist about everything, and I want you to be one too, especially when it comes to form. So you're reaching out through your toes, extending your energy out through your toes, really straightening the legs, and then it goes all the way through our fingertips. Everyone's thumbs are pointing up to the side. That way we're just externally rotated. We're trying to get you out of this slump position and opened up. It should feel a little bit foreign, but it should also feel amazing. You have three, two, one, and relax. Nice job, everybody. We have our side plank coming up next. So we're going to stack those arms, bring the feet hip distance apart, and we're going to open up to the right-hand side for 15 seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one, and begin. Now you're going to notice in mod one right here, her bottom leg is almost acting as a kickstand to give her stability so that she can actually stay lifted and work on strengthening her side body. Let's go ahead and switch sides in three, two, one. Left hand up in the side. Really keep turning that palm out. So thumb open, keeping the chest nice and lifted, side body lifted, hips are nice and stacked. You're there in three, two, one, and relax. Awesome job, guys. We're moving into our blowout. Stand it on up. Hands on your hips. You're gonna have high knee march and heel to bum. Roll the shoulders back, stay nice and tall, and give me a little smile. Now we can start. High knee march right here. Keeping the core nice and tight. And if you're ready, you can take this march into a little bit of a quick march, right? Oh, that's great, Robin. Thanks for going there. You can always go up a little bit. And if you're feeling too much out of breath, mod down a little bit. Keeping the core nice and tight, and march it out. You have eight more seconds and we're gonna go heel to bum kick. Slow and fast. Your call, I want you to give me everything you got. In three, two, one, heel to bum. All it is is pointing that knee down, kicking the heel up back behind you. 
And if you want to just pick it up, pick up the pace a little bit, and then when you're ready, you can start to actually just transfer it side to side. Use those arms. You're going to be here for three, two, back to the march for the final 10 seconds. Whatever you're going to give me for the march, I want you to own it. We're almost there, guys. You ready to take it home? You have three, two, one, and take it out. Excellent job. You have a 45 second break. Water is so important. You have to be sipping water and staying hydrated before, during, and after a workout. We're moving on to our dynamic round coming up. I want you to open up. I want you to start to feel your body. It should actually start to feel a little bit of burn here, a little burn here, and it's all gonna help you get so much stronger from the inside out. I promise you're gonna feel better than you have in a very long time. Okay. Starting with our forward lunge. Reach your hands up overhead. Right leg goes forward, and it steps right back. Three, two, one, let's begin. Step that right leg forward, step it back. Step it forward, step it back. Now the thing I wanted to point out when you were in that nice isometric cobra is that you're externally rotated. You're externally rotated up top too with the arms. Shoulders open, chest is nice and lifted. I want you to picture every single day that you're wearing a beautiful diamond necklace and you have to show it off. You would never wear a diamond necklace and hide it, right? Let's switch legs. Exactly, get the hair off your shoulders, girl. Show the world you made it. So nice and beautiful, it's a very regal movement. Lunges are gonna take you into everyday movement. Think about reaching forward, picking the laundry up. I know you do this every day. Pick up toys after your kids, whatever it is, you do it. But now we're just doing it properly. You have three, two, one, and relax. Excellent job, we have our dynamic squat coming up. Thumbs face back. I want you to sit your hips back, down for two, hold for one, lift for two, hold for one. Down, down, hold, lift, lift, hold. Time starts in three, two, one. Let's go ahead and begin. So if you can do squats every single day, I promise your world is going to change. But I want you to squat properly. So you have to have your weight in your heels. Here's something that you can actually try on your own. I want you to squat down, lift up your big toes, think about where you feel it, then rock into your toes. Once your weight is in your heels, you feel it in your glutes, that's where we want it. Stay on your heels in three, two, one, relax. Excellent job. Single leg deadlift coming up. Right leg back behind you, arms reach up overhead, thumbs back, reach it forward, slow for two, hold for one, lift for two, hold for one. Y'all ready, let's do this together. All In right. three, two, one, begin. One, two, hold, lift, lift, hold. It's not a race, take your time with this. Deadlifts are very difficult movements. Remember, if you haven't understood the actual mechanics of a deadlift yet, Go check out the tutorial. Jana's gonna break it down for you. That way you can see what's happening in the different moths. Shoulders, chest comes forward, leg goes back. We're gonna switch legs right here. Left leg goes back, you ready Robin? Let's see this fired up back leg. Don't forget about it. You gotta pay just as much attention. And go for it again. I want you to reach down, hit my hands. Beautiful. Now in mod three, if the counter or a chair or a table at that height is near you, use that as a marking point, right? You can actually just let the fingertips tap and that way you know where that flat line is gonna be for you. You have three, two, one, and relax. Basic push-up, come on down. Your time is one, 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 one. It looks like this. Down for one, hold for one, up for one, hold for one. Down, hold, up, Hold. In three, two, one, let's go. Come on, are you all right back there? Yeah. And push. <laughs> Down and push. Now your body is going to respond to these movements very quickly. The more you do it, the better you'll become. Push-ups have to be done so many times to actually get it and progress. So if you're learning them correctly, and we know it, right? There's so many things. You're gonna see it in this program as you evolve too. We're gonna have so much fun with push-ups. Right, Allison? Oh yeah. <laughs> you guys got three, two, 
One, and relax right there. Laying down on our belly for our prone YW. Arms reach out to that Y position. Focus is down to the floor. Exhale, lift up for me. Pull the arms back to a W and extend them out to the Y. Three, two, one, begin. Pull and lift, extend out. Pull and lift, extend out. Now I want you to notice that we're not cranking the head up. You don't need to see anything in front of you. The movement is happening on the ground and lifting up. So our head is nice and long, really just an extension of her spine. Thumbs are up, really rotating open. So a lot of times I see palms down to the floor or palms up. This is just gonna keep you in that hunched position. Open it up. Three, two, one, and relax. Saxon side bends are coming up. Let's go ahead and stand it up, everyone. Wide feet, arms up overhead. Really solidify those feet. We're gonna reach up and over to the right, up and over to the left. In three, two, one, let's begin. Get your lighters out. This is concert style, baby, up and over, right? Just like the wave, side to side. I see that we got a nice sweat going on. I want you to close your rib cage for me. Slightly lean forward, there we go. So your shoulders should be directly over your hips. So I don't want to see you like this, and I don't want to see you like this. Stay nice and tall. That diamond necklace still applies right here. You're almost done. You guys have three. You have two. Nice, Robin. One. That's it. Relax it out. We have our blowout coming up next. It's All jumping right. jacks and scissor kicks. All right, I want you go. to find your mod in the blowout too, guys. Y'all ready to get started? Yes. All right. It's our favorite. Let's do it. Jumping jacks right here. This is your final minute. We got this. Nice and light on those toes. I don't want us to hear any heavy hitting. So try to just let the toes land first and then the heels. We're going into scissor kicks in three, two, one. Scissor kicks forward and back, forward and back. Think about a nice skater, forward and back, using the arms. You don't want to use the arms, but you still want to try the feet. Go ahead and put them on your hip. Hands move on your hip, or you can find that quick stop, quick stop, quick stop. Jumping jacks in two, jumping jacks in one. You ready for this? All the way, Robin. We're almost there, guys. You're 20 seconds away. Do not stop now. You know what? You can do anything for 20 seconds, right? Oh, yeah. You can do anything. Scissor kicks in three, two, one. Let's go, Allison. I'm with you. I'm with you. Stick with me right here, everyone. You all got it? Come on, hurry up. You got three. You got two. You got one. And that's it. Good awesome job. job. High five. Good guys. High work. five. Nice work. That's for you. Good job. Congratulations. Guys. You guys made it through. We did it. Yes. Please come and cool down with me. It's important to bring your heart rate down slowly. Robin. Thank you. Kumar. Yeah. I love it. If you guys need to grab some water, remember right after this cool down, please hydrate yourself. Take your feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart. Place your hands on your hips. And I just want you to shift your hips to the right. Shift your hips to the left. Shift your hips to the right and to the left. Hold it right here. Reach your left hand up to the sky and just start to trail down. Hmm. If you can go a little bit further, no matter where your stopping point is, I want you to keep that other hand up to the sky. All the way up, place your hands on your hips, shift your hip to the right, place your hand on your thigh, right hand up, and start to lower all the way down. Just a nice side body stretch. Come on back up to the center. I want you to hug yourself front, and I want you to exhale open. Inhale, hug yourself. Go ahead and bring those feet together. Right foot out in front, slide your hands down your bent leg, and flex that toe up for me. Nice hamstring stretch. Remember that evolve is not a race. Embrace your current level of fitness, enjoy the movement, and you will progress. But most importantly, you will feel better. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Left leg out in front, bend your right leg. Go ahead and sit back, really flex up that front toe. That feels good right there after all those lunges and squats, right? Take it all the way up, feet out a little bit wider, turn the toes out. I just want you to slide down. Just rest your hands on top of your thighs and we're gonna rotate our shoulder forward. And switch. Exhale forward, switch sides. Inhale, exhale switch. And go ahead and step the feet together. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale the hands down to heart center and give yourself a round of applause, you deserve it. That was Evolve Basic Standard Program. Congratulations. Bring it in, team. I love these guys. You rock. Yeah.
I'm Rebecca, and this is Evolve.